RF network analyzers are vital items of test instrumentation for RF design laboratories as well as many manufacturing and service areas. Here we have a pocket VNA, this is a low cost solution for testing of RF equipments. Now, we are going to unbox it. Here, you can see some accessories such as two SMA male to male cables. There is a pocket VNA unit, a USB cable and a set of calibration kit. As you see that this is pocket VNA unit, this is USB cable, pair of male SMA to SMA connecting cable. In pocket VNA unit, you can see that there are two ports. Port 1 and Port 2. For SMA connector you can see here, these are components of calibration kit. Known as open, dot, this is known as load, load and this is called through. We will have to calibrate pocket VNA before measuring any component parameter, here we will describe calibration process in one by one steps, for calibration connect pocket VNA to computer via USB cable. Now connect SMA cable to port 1 and port 2. Pocket VNA software will used for calibration and measuring purpose. You can download it from Pocket VNA website. In computer screen you can see the downloaded folder. In this folder you will find pocketvna.exe file. Double click on it, to open software. You can see pocket VNA software is now open. You will see here a live measurement window and a main software window. For calibration pocket VNA, we will close, live measurement window. Here you will see that, pocket VNA software found, hardware automatically. Now select tools in menu bar and go for calibration. Now you will see calibration window. In this window you have select calibration parameter. Pocket VNA can able to work from 500 kHz to 4 GHz range. You can select desired frequency range as per your application. Steps are showing discrete samples within range. ADC average should be set for 10, software average for 2. Also remember that higher averages values will increase accuracy of signal, but consuming higher time during calibration and operations. You can see lots of calibration process for pocket VNA, this time we will choose for simple two port calibration. If you have any saved calibration data that you want to use then click on load button, because this time we are starting pocket VNA with fresh calibration, just click on start button. After click on start button, you will see a new window, here you can see that software display an instruction, connect short standard to port 1, now you have to connect short standard to port 1 and click on scan button and wait until pocket VNA collecting data for short standard. Here we got calibration data for short standard of port 1, now click on apply and next, software shows you next instruction which is connect short calibration to port 2, just connect short standard to port. Here we got calibration data for short standard of port 2. Now click on apply and next, software shows you next instruction which is connect load calibration to port 1. Just connect load standard to port 1. Here we got calibration data for load standard of port 1. Now click on apply and next, software shows you next instruction which is connect load calibration to port 2. Just connect load standard to port 2.
Here we got calibration data for load standard of port 2. Now click on apply and next, software shows you next instruction which is connect open calibration standard to port 1. Just connect open standard to port 1. Here we got calibration data for open standard of port 1. Now click on apply and next, software shows you next instruction which is connect open calibration standard to port 2. Just connect open standard to port 2. Here we got calibration data for open standard of port 2. Now click on apply and next, software shows you next instruction which is leave port 1 and port 2 open. In this case do not connect any standard to any port. Now, we have to proceed last calibration standard, that connect port 1 and port 2 with through. Connect both port and click on scan button for getting data. After getting data of through standard of both port, click on apply and next. Now you can see all type of data of all standards. Here you can save this data for future use or you can use it directly. Click use button for use this calibration data. Now you can see live measurement window, at left side of this window you will see calibration range and S parameters. You can select required parameter as per your application purpose. You can also see live chart. Here you can select desired parameter value such as magnitude, VSWR, Here we are taking L-band feed as a test device. Now we have to connect pocket VNA to this feed. At this time, we will go for S11 parameter. So here we connect this feed. After connecting feed with pocket VNA, click on scan button. Here you can see S11 data of this feed. Here you can see magnitude versus frequency and VSWR versus frequency graph. You can see parameter value at any point when you move cursor on graph. By double click at any point on waveform, you can make marker position. Here it shows you value of each parameter at marked point. You can make a multiple marker position in a single waveform. You can also save marker data in computer. You can also observe Smith chart data for testing. Here we remove feed and connect 50 ohms load termination with port 1. We will measure response of this load on Smith chart. This is response of the feed that was connected previously. Now for getting response of 50 ohms load terminal, you have to click on scan. Here you can see response of 50 ohm load termination on Smith chart.